Hey there, John Opinion Sports. In this video, I'm going to talk about my realistic expectations for Daniel Jones. And, you know, I'm going to talk about just what I think a successful season would look like. You know, part, part of the reason I'm making this video is because I've just seen a lot of outlandish comments. You know, in the last week, I've seen comments that Jones needs to have 30, 35 touchdowns to warrant another season. <laughs> uh, just all kinds of crazy shit. You know, I'll preface this video by saying... I'm going to presume like everyone stays healthy on offense and you know why is at least league average, which, you know, I think is possible. But this idea that since Jones season was so awful last season that he needs to do a little extra, uh, just, you know, this year, it just makes no sense to me. You know, this is another popular comment I'm seeing lately. You know, whether DJ had two or 40 touchdowns last season has no bearing on this year to me. So first, I don't care about the number <laughs> of touchdowns and yards. To a certain extent, I'll say, and I don't want to say it's end all be all. You know, you can watch a game and tell whether a player is playing well, or you know, you know, or not, you know, not like not independent of the stats. If the offense is, you know, the same as last year, I don't think we're gonna get, you know, a huge touch. You're gonna get huge touchdown totals. I mean, there was a few games last season where Jones played pretty much great most of the game, and at the end he has like one touchdown <laughs> and normally the way last year went a called back touchdown you know, so the offense last season you know it was more about ball control and you know long drives so when we were at our best last season we were getting down you know in the red zone and actually just you know handing it off and, and pounding it in so what, what i want to see is more consistency by Jones. you know i want to see more of them long drives turn into touchdowns not turnovers or field goals Last year when we got into the red zone, you know, we had, you know, we had nothing in the receiving game, really. I mean, Angram was was a net negative, I'd have to say. You know, and the only threats we really had were Shepard and Slayton. You know, defenses played us tight, and Jones, you know, had a few blunders down there. I mean, I'm not going to try and uh, say it, it's, he didn't. But, I, you know, I, I want to see a lot of that cleaned up this season, especially with Barkley healthy. Uh, Kenny Galladay, Kyle Rudolph coming over here. I expect DJ to look, you know, a lot more like he did his rookie season, you know, down in the red zone. The biggest, you know, the biggest help to me would be Barkley. I mean, go back in 2019 and watch the attention Barkley gets, you know, coming out of the backfield. Uh, teams are actually bracket coveraging him. Um, that's the kind of shit you see teams doing, you know, the great tight ends and slot wide receivers. So I just feel like a lot of us are, you know way too stat focused and you know at the end of the day i want wins this isn't about you know ego to me you, know, you see all these cowboy fans always throwing out dax stats but, but where's all dax big wins so <laughs> you know with dj when dj is on the field i want to see you know net positive uh, another thing i hear is jones has no excuses this season well, I didn't know he had excuses last season. I'm pretty sure 99% of all fans been killing the kid. I mean, a lot of NFL fans of other teams straight up call him a bust. And the first half of last season, I'd say the majority of Giants fans wanted him gone. You know, independent of the problems the team, you know, as a whole had. So I don't think anyone has made excuses for the kid. Maybe, a, I guess maybe a couple. I mean, I was one of the few people that got labeled as a Jones apologist for trying to be patient last season. You know, I'm a big believer in giving these young players time. Coming on here and like declaring a player is going to, you know, is great or shit after 16, 20 games in their career is insane to me. You know, I understand the losing gets to a boiling point, And, you know, it's just so easy just to say the quarterback sucks. And, you know, Jones had a few shitty games. But to me, I'm going to view the quarterback position as a dependent position. First, the quarterback is dependent on the offensive line. After the line, the quarterback is dependent on the receivers. You know, and last season, I saw a failure on all three, O-line quarterback and wide receiver. So, I mean, if, if you're taking that as an excuse, it's not meant to be. You know, I'm just, I just, I got to point out the issues all around. And, you know, hopefully the team stays healthy and, you know, all three get clicking this next season coming up. And if they all don't click, hopefully the biggest issue stands out so we know, you know, what to address. And Jones is going to have to help the O-line a little too this year. Um, they're really young, and young O-lines are going to have clunkers. They just are. And I want to see Jones help them some, you know, and improve his pocket awareness this year. Now, you know, he, he cut his fumbles in half. That's good. And he improved his pocket awareness. That's good. And I want to give him credit. But I want to see it improve again this season. You know, 10, 12 fumbles a season 
is about league average. So if Jones can even be average in that department, I'll take it and consider it improvement. You know, I personally don't think Jones has an interception problem, so I'm not worried so much. You know, Jones should have had probably four or five picks last year, you know, but Engram was, you know, the best player on the opposing defense. Still, keep the picks down, you know, to under 12 in a 16-game season. I can live with that. I don't care. Especially if, you know, you get a few extra picks next next year, just, you know, taking shots down the field. You know, I, I don't care. You're being aggressive. You know, and if you and you know if you are a casual fan and only look at the stats or you only go by wins and losses, <clears throat> you and me, you know, we probably ain't gonna agree on much about DJ. You know, I see a kid with enough talent to be really good quarterback, great quarterback. I don't know, but at least a really good quarterback. You know, the Giants organization they've taken steps, you know, to help pull this kid's head above water because his first two seasons here. He's been drowning, let's just be honest, you know, and it goes two ways. The Giants need to support him, and he needs to put in the work to, you know, to actualize his talent, and I don't care if if you're the number one pick. If a quarterback doesn't have the support, they are never going to make it, or they are going to struggle. Name one great quarterback without, you know, great surroundings when they take off. The only one that really pops into my mind is Dan Marino, but he might be the most talented, greatest quarterback we've ever seen. Anyways, it just seems like he's getting his surroundings now. Let's see if he puts in the work. And from everything we hear from Giants players and coaches is they love the kid and he works his ass off. So, you know, this could be the perfect storm he needs to lift off. Let's just watch and enjoy. You know, don't listen to the media. They're clowns. You know, watch for yourself. You know, I'm pulling for the kid. And, uh, and I think he's going to get this thing in the right direction. You know, it's fair to criticize and acknowledge a reality at the same time. And the reality is, this could be a great season. But we're going to need luck with health, uh, first and foremost. You know, if Jones comes out and has 24, 25 touchdowns to 10 picks, and we're winning, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, because my expectation is DJ improves all around this year. You know, the O-line is young, so I expect, you know, a couple tough games for him. But I expect we'll come out next season feeling better about DJ. And, you know, Jones has played, what, 24, 25 games, something like that. You are still a developing quarterback at that point in time. Don't expect 35, 40 touchdowns. You know, first of all, Garrett's offense don't call for that. Now, on the flip side, if the team is losing games because of DJ and we aren't seeing improvement, then we can have a serious conversation at the end of the year. You know, but outside of a bunch of injuries, I don't see that happening. But, yo, guys, you know, let's let's support this kid until, you know, the proper time not to. <laughs> and, you know, because we've kind of been awful to him. <laughs> at least a lot of us, not all of us. Uh, but, you know, we've been awful to him since day one. And if it don't work out, you know, it won't be because of bad coaching, at least in my opinion. Or, you know, her hard work on everybody's end. But the disrespect I've seen towards DJ the last couple seasons has been mind-blowing to me, honestly. And uh, this kid is a New York Giant. And let's represent him and your organization with class. I think we're getting this thing turned around and, you know, we don't all need to be bitter. You want to be bitter? That's fine. This probably ain't the channel for you. Let's have some goddamn fun this year. But... I expect uh, really good games this year. Actually, I might look over the schedule and make a video of maybe my favorite games that I might want to see next year. One that pops in mind is the Raiders game. We play the Raiders next year. Boy, for some reason, I just feel like we match up well against that. That'll be a, a really fun one. And we get to play the Chiefs, so hey, probably an ass beating. But, you know, when all the teams that we had are really good, you know, we've always upset a team like that. Back in 2005, we upset the undefeated Broncos just we've always took it teams like that when we started to come on and be a good team and they're the kind of games that you know are good measuring stick because we know what the Chiefs are they're perennial Super Bowl uh, contenders so that's it for me I just figured I'd get a Jones video out there get something nailed down on me so if y'all want to come at me then the next, next year during the season you know you have this to rewind and throw at me so that's it for me uh, like and subscribe stay stay safe uh, the virus is still out there, man. Stay home. <laughs> well, you got to work. Go to work and then go home. All right, guys. Uh, thank you. Bye.
Thank you.